My name is Marina Slowinski, and I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee pursuing a major in biomedical engineering. In this research project, we developed a method to program protein-based hydrogels using divalent metal cations and induce specific movements based on solution conditions. The ability to program a temporary shape in a biomaterial that can revert to its original shape in response to a stimulus is important to the field of soft robotics, which deals with robots made of highly compliant materials similar to those found in living organisms. In Dr. Popa's lab, we synthesize biomaterials from pure proteins using a light-activated reaction. Proteins are very important molecules of life as they perform most functions in cells. Their unique 3D structure determines their function. Under force, proteins can unfold and extend 10 times their original length. When the force is removed, the proteins revert to their original folded state. The new type of materials developed during this project use the unfolding response of proteins and their interaction with divalent cations to fine-tune the overall stiffness of the biomaterial. The adsorption of metal cations into protein hydrogels causes an increase in stiffness, which allows us to program complex shapes like a ring or a spring shape. When removed from cation solutions, the hydrogels morph from their programmed shape back to their original shape in response to changes in solvent conditions. We were able to induce specific predictable movements and physical changes in biomaterials dictated by changes in solution environment. The method of shape programming and morphing demonstrated here is an important step towards the development of new soft robots made from pure proteins, which follow design principles similar to biological tissue, like muscles, and which are capable of controlled motion. For more information, please take a look at our recently accepted article in Science Advances. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge the support for undergraduate research fellows for their help funding this research.